we even managed to get this project off the ground was because we had someone who designed something that would be acceptable to a very, very stringent historic board. And obviously Jason is held in extremely high regard with the preservation work he's doing down here. So when we take these two approaches and put them together, suddenly you have a product that not only everybody desires, but something that would actually be embraced down here in Miami. I enjoy the neighborhood feel of just south of Fifth. I think it, I, I get it and I understand the demand to live in that immediate area. South of Fifth, it can have a uh, understated, calming environment to it. Really, that, that's the key element of it, that it's a neighborhood. We're building something that we want to walk our children by in, in 10, 15, 20 years and say, look, this is part of what we, we did with our life. At the end of the day, money aside, what, what is important for us, I think all of us, is that we make something really great. We've got 19 residences that are all completely different. And I'd say there are some floor plans here that have never been created. Uh, Jason was mentioning before, we have these, these units on the second floor that have literally gardens lifted off the street. They're 13 feet off the street. It's quite unique. It feels like a townhouse, but it's not. It's also an apartment. It's got 20 foot ceilings on the back. I mean, these are very unique spaces in South Beach, and it's especially South of Fifth. It's a, it's a very unique project. Timelessness is, is the ultimate goal. And the, the reason we work with natural materials, and by that I mean stones and, and woods and things of that nature, is that, that my experience at least is that uh, nature does not date. We have, we have uh, super uh, light, uh, beautiful white plank uh, wood floors, but then we have uh, kitchen counters that are black glass, which is, there's a bit of contrast and uh, there's a little bit of drama, I think, uh, that is also added through that contrast. Um, but essentially, it, you know, the, the, it, it's a little bit of New York and a little bit of Miami that's put into the project. <laughs>